Alright everyone, I'm here because Zaludia has given me a new season pass and they told me to cover it, but if you've seen the thumbnail, there is a more important matter I want to talk about that, um, not more important, because this season's really cool, I guess, if you don't already have two Pandactylus, which I do actually have it, so it's interesting, but they wanted me to cover it, cover it and I'm very loyal to Ludia, I guess, so of course I'm going to do it. So, got two Pandactylus at the end of the pass, and then, yeah, I've already got level 22 Pandactylus, which is what you'll get from this pass. Um, so here it is, all ready to show to you guys. But, yeah, um, I feel like if I were to put two Pandactylus as a thumbnail, is it really going to appeal to that many people? I mean, it's not new, it's been in the game for ages, so... I don't know, I feel it's weird Ludio came and asked me to uh, put this on the channel compared to passes like, say, the Blue Season Pass or whatever, but I guess they kind of figure I would put that on the channel, the Blue Season Pass and whatnot. Um, but I mean, yeah, it's just weird. Like, so You know what I would cover in a heartbeat? Giganotosaurus Gen 2 and Therizinosaurus Gen 2. I've talked to them about because I've seen images floating around. And they have no clue how those images were floating around of a level 40 Giga and Therry. But I'll wait for the official things to come out. And I don't know, I mean, the Gaming Beaver was given bumpy early through mail. So, I mean, if I'm being given the VIP pass, and I mean, not the VIP, the season pass, um, maybe Ludia could be nice enough to, you know give me a free Giga Gen 2 or something, I don't know, I don't know, but um, I'm just saying I'll cover it in a heartbeat, if that's the case, uh, but yeah, what else do I want to talk about this video, that would be, um, I was scrolling around the Game Press data mine area, and I mean, normally I won't cover it, but there's an actual image to look at, this time, I mean, it's cool. It's cool. It's a definitely cool to read. So you should go over there and read it all for yourself. But there's actual an image of Al Cranix now, which is the new Apex Scorpion that's coming to the game. So I can't wait to beat that with my raid buddies and whatever. I actually um, will save my what I want to do in that raid for the end of the video. But yeah, apparently we've got like. Palmino Scorpius coming to the game, which is going to be so cool. Now, I thought uh, when I heard about Alicranix, it would be blue in terms of bioluminescence, because normal scorpions, they kind of turn blue under like UV lights and stuff, but this is orange, so I'm not sure if it'll change color, but I was kind of hoping it would be blue, but hey, the orange is still cool. It kind of looks like a lava creature or something with all that black and orange. I, I was also expecting something green, I don't know why, I just figured green would be cool. So, I kind of made edits of green and blue scorpions, just to put up on screen, just to see what you guys think of that. Um, yeah, there's also going to be like a scorpion hybrid between Pulmino Scorpius and the Sunga Scorpius. So that's actually, you know, it kind of fits into this video, you know, flying high. It's going to be a hybrid of a flyer, which is also part Myragaya, but still, the Sunga Ripterus plus Myragaya and Pulmino Scorpius. That's going to be very interesting, just like all the spikes on the Scorpion. But what I want to do for the raid is uh, Scorpius Rex, so the Scorpion King versus the big Alacranix Scorpion boss. So that would just be so cool. I hope I can get that done. Hopefully my friends will uh, do that or they'll be like, nah. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you all later. Bye, everyone.